Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see list index out of bound exception in Salesforce. List in Salesforce is nothing but an array. In array, the values are stored using index. Let's say I declare an array and uh, I add four values to it. And in array, the index will start from zero. Even in Salesforce, the list array, uh, sorry, the list index starts from zero. So since I have added four values to it, so I will have the index as maximum three and the minimum is zero. Now, if I try to get uh, fifth or sixth index or even fourth index of that particular array, it will throw an error saying that that particular index does not exist for that array. That is nothing but list index out of bound exception in Salesforce. Let's say the list has two records. So the index started from zero for the first record and for the second record, the index value is one. Now, if we try to fetch the third index value from that list, it will throw an error saying that index out of bound exception value three does not exist. Let's see how to reproduce an issue with the list index out of bound exception and how to fix it. So here I have declared list of account and I'm fetching ID and name from account object where name is equal to test and then I'm trying to find what is the first account and I'm also uh, checking um, the zeroth index and then I'm getting the name so if this particular query returns five account records I'm getting the first account record and then I'm displaying its name if I go to all, uh, if I go to my accounts tab and then if I select all accounts, I don't have any account with the name test. I have test one, test two like that, but I don't have anything with the name test. So here the list returned will be zero. So currently there is no value in the list, but I'm trying to get the zeroth index value and then I'm trying to find what is the name value. Now it will throw an error saying that list index out of bound exception. Yeah, it is throwing list index out of bounds and value is zero. There is no value that fetched um, using that SOQL. Let's uh, verify that in the debug log. So when that particular uh, SOQL got executed, the number of rows that got returned is zero. So now let's see how to fix it. So in order to get the first index, first thing what I have to make sure is, I have to check whether the list size is not empty. So I'm checking what is the size of that list and then I'm making sure it is greater than zero. I will log or debug the statement only if the list of, sorry, if the size of list account variable is greater than zero. If it is equal to zero, then it will not go inside this condition and then it won't display the value and then it won't face that list index out of bound exception at all. So here the rows are the rows written from this SOQL is zero. But since I'm checking what is the list size, um, I'm making sure there is at least one uh, um, record in that list so that I can display the first records value. Similarly, let's say you are checking the fourth or fifth, then make sure the size is uh, uh, correctly checked. 
so for example if you are going to check the fourth index value then the size should be greater than or equal to 5 because if the list size is 5 it will start from 0th index so 0 1 2 3 and 4 so it should have at least 5 records so check the size before getting its index value and printing its value or making using and making using or making uh, uh, use of uh, uh, the list value in a different variable or any other purpose i hope it was helpful thank you for watching